I brought a treasure with me today, and I need a good place to store this where it will be safe. Where do you think I could store it? If I put it in a safe, or maybe a closet, or maybe in a waterproof, fireproof box, that would work, right? Because it's a treasure. I need a safe place to put it, so I'll have it for a long time. Now our Bible verse today talks about storing the best kind of treasure. Listen and see if you can figure out what it is. Psalm 119.11, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119.11. We've talked before about how Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible with 176 verses. The Psalm is divided into sections of eight verses to help people memorize it. Each set of eight verses starts with the same letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It was the Hebrew ABCs. The first section started with what would be our letter A, and the next eight would start with B, and so on. That made it easy to memorize. Now in our English translation, we don't see that, but that's how it works in the Hebrew language. Every verse in the whole psalm says something about how God's word affects our lives. God's word is the greatest treasure. Let's say the verse together. Psalm 119.11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119.11 Let's look at what this verse means. I have stored up your word in my heart. God's word is so valuable that it's worth hiding or storing in a safe place. That doesn't mean you should take your Bible and put it on a shelf or in your basement. God wants you to store his word inside you, in your memory. Another way to say this is memorizing. Why should you store God's word in your heart? The next part of the verse answers that question. That I might not sin against you. When you have God's word stored in your heart, God the Holy Spirit who lives inside all those who have believed on Jesus as their Savior, will help you remember what God says in those times when you're tempted to sin and disobey God. Maybe there was a time when you memorized, children, obey your parents. God might bring that verse to your mind when you want to disobey your parents or to help you decide to obey instead. Because you hid God's word in your heart, it helped keep you from sinning. God's word is a gift to help you love him and obey him. Say the verse with me again. Ready? Psalm 119.11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119.11 If you've believed on Jesus as your Savior, you need to trust God's word with your whole heart. Memorizing God's word is part of God's plan for you. God the Holy Spirit will use God's word to help keep you from sinning and remind you of his care for you. God's word shows you that God always knows what he's doing. Word up, God's plan is good. Will you memorize God's word and store it in your heart? If you haven't believed on Jesus as your savior, God's word tells you the truth about God and about yourself. His word says that you have sinned and need a savior. You can believe on Jesus as your savior today. Let's say the verse again. Ready? Psalm 119.11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119.11 We're going to play a game called Crazy Stand-Ups. So when I call out a category, if you apply to that category, stand up. So let's start with blue jeans. If you're wearing blue jeans, stand up and let's say the verse. Ready? Psalm 119.11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 11. Great job. You can have a seat. Now, if you have a brother or a sister, stand up. Ready? Psalm 119, 11. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 11. Great job, everyone. Let's do one more. If you like ice cream, stand up. Psalm 119, 11. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119.11. Great job.